Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bad hair day. <laughs> so I don't know if Amazon has been looking at my information, my browser history, what kind of things I like, but they have been showing me lots and lots of sweaters. I've never bought sweaters or pretty much anything fashion-wise on Amazon, except for maybe a novelty shirt here and there, like t-shirts and stuff, but nothing really extravagant. So I decided, well, let me try out their sweaters since they keep wanting me to buy them. I have a few rules when I shop on Amazon. One of the rules is that it has to be four or more stars. And from there, the second rule is I read the actual reviews and I assess my decisions on those things. That is how I picked out these four sweaters that I purchased. They all showed up in the mail, so let's jump in and do some first impressions. So this is the first sweater. I picked this out because I like the color. I like to have like something, it's like a burgundy, I don't know, it looks very dark on the camera, but it is this waffle print and it's a turtleneck. And it's kind of see-through, so I'm a little worried when I try it on what it's gonna look like. But we will see. Some of the complaints of the people were that, the, that it was very see-through if you bought the lighter color, but darker colors were okay. But it seems like this one's very thin and see-through. And, you know, I look at the stitching. It's, the stitching is okay. You know, I do compare, I did compare the stitching a little earlier to some of my more, you know, higher end, if you will, sweaters, and they were more seamless. Like you couldn't really see any kind of bumps or anything. So it'll be interesting to see how this looks on me. All right, the next thing is some more color. Now, this one looked a little different in the picture, and um, it wasn't as hot pink and i think also as i can tell it's not as hot pink as it is in person so this i liked it because it was like a high low on the bottom there and again it also has like a little bit of a, it's like more like a cowl neck not necessarily a turtleneck because turtlenecks are like ugh, not my thing again the seam is just it sticks out really funny so we shall see. They look fine along the sleeves though. That looks nicer, but just around the turtleneck part looks a little weird. All right, also waffle iron, waffle iron. Why did I say waffle iron? I want waffles. Waffle print. And it is see-through, but it doesn't seem to look as see-through as the darker top. Next. So I bought this because I wanted to compare it to one of my other sweaters that I have that's a bit more expensive and upon first impressions i looked at it and i was like this does not look like the picture so the weird thing about it is it puckers out really weird here but it does have pockets so i'm wondering like once you put it on it's not going to look as bizarre and the stitching is fine like this is actually made a little bit better but this was also the most expensive item from all four not that it was expensive but it was the most expensive one from from the pack but the stitching is very strange on the edges here and i mean they're all you know factory made and then last but not least i got this top i liked the color it looks a lot different in person so it also looks a lot larger um a lot of people were complaining that the top was really tight and to size up. So I am usually an extra small in, big, in bigger shirts or like sweaters and stuff. And this is a small and it looks like an extra large. So this is going to be interesting to try on. It did have some cute suggestions like tying it and whatnot, but I also like this part. But then again, like it looks like the seams are a bit, you know, messy looking. So we'll see, but it looks cute in the picture. I'm gonna go try everything on, then we'll see what everything looks like. Compare and contrast. This is specimen number one. And um, <laughs> my hips are not this big. So, you know, even if I put my hands in the pockets and I try to like make it flatter, it still looks kind of funky. Yeah, the fabric is, yeah, no, I'm sending this back because this looks ridiculous. I mean, I look like I'm trying out for a Bjork video or a Teletubby show. I could fit a lot of stuff in here though. Yeah, this is going back. I don't like it. I'm going to actually try on a sweater 
that is almost exactly like this, and you'll see the reason why this is going back. So this is the sweater, oops, this is the sweater that I bought the other sweater to compare it to. I've had this for at least two years, and it is very soft, it's still in great shape. It's not as long as the other one, but I just, you know, for posterity. So yeah, the other thing's going back. So this one is the high-low sweater. It's okay. I just find that the sleeves are a bit bizarre. Like there's nothing special about them. And to prove my point, I have this top. Of course, I've had this for years too. Boing. And there's like some interest going on in the sleeve here. And I thought this was gonna be more like interesting like that. Like maybe this would have been tighter or maybe there would have been like a cuff. I guess I wasn't looking at the picture long enough. Um, also, it is see-through. You can see my shirt underneath here. So not sure what I'm thinking about this top. Just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I'm out of the camera. And it's, it's okay. Just not great. I actually like this top. Um, I think the sleeve, the sleeve length is good. It looks similar to the last top I tried on, but it's not. Um, it, it is much softer. It's not like a high-low. It's got like a little bit of a trapeze effect. And excuse my hair, I just gave up. Um, I like the color. I think it's very nice. It's flattering and yeah, I think I might keep this one. I really have nothing bad to say about this top. I really like the way it fits and it's got like this kind of like bat wing thing almost going on. You got, I can fly. Art. You ever have a day where you try like 20 different styles with your hair because you just don't know what to do with it? Today's my day. Anywho, this looks way better on than it did when I took it out of the box. I actually like it a lot. I think it's a good length and you know, some of the pictures showed people tying it up here and wearing it like, well, like that. <laughs> and um, some people had like a French tuck or they just wore it plain or they wear it with like a little vest. So I think I can do a lot with this top. I actually really surprised myself and um, it's not, not poorly made which is surprising since it was like what 20 bucks or something everything that i got in the box added up to like 102 or 103 dollars so basically each item roughly each item was 20 dollars except for that black sweater which was 30 dollars but roughly around 25 if you just divide it by four however this one definitely i think is worth more because it's just, it's very soft and I feel like it's way better made. Did I say that right? Well, anyway, it's it's be, it's made very well compared to the other pieces that I tried on today. I think I'll definitely be keeping this. This is super cute. And I like how it has like the puffy sleeves here. This is like, it adds a little something, see? And then this is like nice and tight and just at the right spot. Lovely. Do a little turn around. All right. All right, we're back from the try-ons. Now I'm gonna give you my honest review. This turtleneck sweater, the black one, with the strange hips. Nobody should ever buy this. I mean, some people, I think if they have like really wide hips, then it would work, but I don't know. I just, it just wasn't looking right. And you know, they're deceiving because online in the pictures, everybody has their hands in the pockets. And if you if you look to, to the um, link, look at the link and look at all the pictures of all the models and the different colors, they're all putting their hands in the pockets. Or they're in a position where you can't even tell that there's some weird puckering out going on. It's like, why don't you just create a better product? Then you don't have to hide the flaws. Anyhow, she's going back. This sweater, this pink, hot pink thing. I didn't like that it was see-through and I also think it's just way too pink for me. I mean, I love pink, but I like pink that is more muted, not so bright. And this is teetering on 1980s early disco time vibe. I don't know, just, it's a little much for me. Bye-bye. Now, the thing that I was really surprised about is when I brought, took this out of the box, I wasn't really impressed. I was like, oh, it looks way more boring in person. But when I tried it on, 
The fit was really super cute. It had like a very cute boho kind of feel to it. And the material is just really soft. So definitely worth it. And I think it was like 20 something dollars. But of course I'll, I'll put the link down below for you to check it out. But it was definitely worth it. I think if you got in a lighter color, it might be see-through, but this wasn't as see-through as that pink one that I tried on, but this was definitely a winner. So she's, she's staying, she's getting a spot in my closet. And last but not least, thoroughly impressed with this top. Didn't think it was gonna look good when I tried it on because it was so big looking, but it fit me really cute. And I, I would say the quality isn't like, the quality's fine. It isn't like, whoa, you know, because you know, you have a seam right here in the sleeve, but it's super cute. And it's like something you wanna like, just look a little bit cute when you go grocery shopping. <laughs> picking up the mail. Um, definitely comfortable and good if you're like, you know, lounging around the house or if you have a Zoom call and you don't want to look too dressed up, but just a little, have a little something cute on, this is definitely the way to go. So she's staying. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this. It was an experiment, definitely. I mean, it, it was it was 50% better than not. And I don't know, you know, you never know what you're gonna find on Amazon. You might love it, you might hate it. Obviously I loved two things and I, well, hate's a strong word, but I hated two of the other things. I didn't really hate it, but it was not like, it wasn't sparking joy. So you never know. So if there's any, you know, products that you have found on Amazon that you think are awesome, please let me know down in the comments. And I would like to see what you guys have experienced with the Amazon fashion. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and hit the notification bell so you know when my next video comes up. Bye.